Hello, and welcome to Spoon River Revealed. I'm your host, Katie Hayes. Spoon, Ri Spoon River Revealed is the only news source dedicated to investigating the characters of Spoon River. Breaking news! Minerva Jones is dead. For more, let's go to our news anchor at Spoon River Cemetery. I am standing at Spoon River Cemetery and have just learned that Minerva died having an abortion. The doctor that gave Minerva Jones her abortion was Dr. Myers. When asked about this whole event, Mrs. Myers claimed that Dr. Myers was sinful and he lost sight of what was right and wrong. After Minerva died, Dr. Myers fell into disgrace and died of pneumonia. We also talked to Indignation Jones, Minerva's father. He reportedly said that she was driven to her grave, and he also lamented about the sadness of life and how once he was noble and good, but now he is poor and sad. This is Katie Hayes reporting for Spoon River Revealed. Back to you. Sources report that Butch Welby is the person suspected of raping Minerva. Butch is known in Spoon River for serving at the trial of Roy Butler, accused of rape. Sir, what do you think of these events? He's speechless. Butch Welby has, was blown up at his job. This is the same explosion that loosened the docket above Justin Arnett's head. The docket was filled with the useless cases that Justice Arnett had presided over in his many years as a judge. One of these such cases is the case in which A.D. Blood, the mayor of Spoon River, took Daisy Frazier to the court. Daisy Frazier, in this case, ended up having to pay ten dollars. Not only is A.D. Blood known for being the mayor, he's also known to his opposition of alcohol. A.D. Blood is supported in people of Spoon River like Robert Burke. In other news, the bank of Thomas Road has fallen into bankruptcy. Some believe that this fall into bankruptcy is due to his son. His son is named Ralph Rhodes and is no longer in Spoon River. Thomas Rhodes' bank was known for having Celia Lively as an attorney until Celia Lively became a judge. The person accused for the fall of the bank is Mrs. George Reese's husband. Mr. George Reese is now in prison. This is not the first time Thomas Rhodes has been in the news. Another time is when his one of his employees broke a vein in his head. His name was Eugene Carmen. After Carmen died, Clarence Fawcett took his job. Clarence Fawcett was ruined by Thomas Rhodes because Fawcett was stealing blankets from Rhodes and selling them to support his family. We also have information on Roscoe Perkopile. Roscoe Perkopile has recently returned to his wife, Mrs. Perkopile. Mr. Perkopile claims to have been captured by pirates on Lake Michigan in his time away, but Mrs. Perkopile does not agree with this and believes that Mrs. Williams was with Mr. Perkopile. Sir, what do you think? He's speechless. Mrs. Williams, the woman that Mr. Perkopile was with, is known for being the milliner and, ha and being the mother of Dora. Dora was married several times and had a fling with a known man in Spoon River named Reuben Pantier. Reuben is known with, for his affairs with many women, including his former teacher, Emily Sparks. Reuben's father is Benjamin Pantier, who is buried now at Sto Spoon River with his faithful dog. Mr. Pantier had been confined to a room with his dog to work because Mrs. Pantier, his wife, could not stand him. In other breaking news, Amanda Barker has died in painful childbirth. Our sorcerers here at Spoon River Revealed believe 
that Amanda Barker's husband did this on purpose because he knew that childbirth would kill her. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Katie Hayes. Tune in tomorrow to see more of Spoon River Revealed.